Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Am I the only one that didn't know how dangerous weak passwords can be? You wake up one morning and check your email, but something is wrong. You can't log in, your password doesn't work. Frantically, you try to access your online banking, but you're locked out there too. Your stomach sinks as you realize someone has hacked your accounts. They have your personal information, your financial details, maybe even your identity. This is the nightmare scenario that weak passwords can create. In today's hyper-connected world, our lives are increasingly digital. We rely on passwords for everything from social media to online banking. But with this reliance comes a responsibility, a responsibility to protect ourselves with strong, unique passwords. Weak passwords are an open invitation to hackers, putting our personal information and digital lives at risk. Think of your passwords like the locks on your doors. A weak lock is easy to break, just like a weak password. A strong password, like a sturdy lock, is a crucial first line of defense against unauthorized access. It's the barrier between your personal information and those who would exploit it. The consequences of weak passwords can be devastating. Identity theft, financial loss, and reputational damage are just a few of the risks. It's not just about protecting ourselves, it's about protecting our loved ones and the wider online community. So how do we fight back against these threats? This is where ethical hacking comes in. Ethical hackers, also known as white hat hackers, use their skills to find vulnerabilities in systems before malicious actors can exploit them. They play a critical role in making the digital world a safer place, exposing weaknesses and helping organizations strengthen their defenses. One of the tools in an ethical hacker's arsenal is Hydra, a powerful password cracking tool used for penetration testing. Hydra is like a digital battering ram systematically trying different password combinations until it finds the right one. While it can be used for malicious purposes, in the hands of ethical hackers, it becomes a powerful tool for good, identifying weak points and allowing for remediation before any real damage is done. To use Hydra effectively, we need the right environment. This is where Kali Linux comes in. Kali Linux is a Debian-based operating system specifically designed for penetration testing and digital forensics. It's a treasure chest of tools for ethical hackers, with Hydra being one of its most potent weapons. In the next section, we'll walk through setting up your very own ethical hacking environment using Kali Linux. We'll then delve into the intricacies of Hydra, learning how to wield this powerful tool responsibly and effectively. Before we can start cracking passwords, we need a safe and controlled environment to work in. Think of it as our hacking lab, a digital playground where we can experiment and learn. Our lab will be built on Kali Linux, a free and open source operating system for penetration testing. It comes preloaded with a vast array of security tools, including Hydra. Set up Kali Linux as a virtual machine or a bootable USB drive. A virtual machine runs Kali Linux within your existing operating system. A bootable USB drive lets you boot directly into Kali Linux. The installation process is straightforward with many online tutorials. With Kali Linux installed, ensure you have the latest version of Hydra. Use the terminal to update all software packages, including Hydra. Congratulations. You now have a fully functional ethical hacking lab. Now that our hacking lab is up and running, let's dive into the heart of the matter, Hydra. At its core, Hydra is a command line tool, which means we interact with it using text-based commands. Don't let this intimidate you. Hydra's syntax is surprisingly straightforward even for beginners. Let's break down a basic Hydra command to understand how it works. Imagine we want to test the strength of an SSH server's password. The command might look something like this. Let's dissect this command piece by piece. In essence, this command instructs Hydra to launch a brute force attack on the SSH server at the given IP address, using the specified username and trying each password from the word list until it finds the right one. It's important to note that this is just a basic example. Hydra is incredibly versatile and offers a wide range of options and parameters to fine-tune your attacks. Section 5. Unleashing Advanced Hydra Techniques As you become more comfortable with Hydra's basic syntax, you can start exploring its more advanced features. These features allow you to target different services, customize your attacks, and increase your chances of success. One of the key strengths of Hydra is its ability to target a wide range of services, not just SSH. 
Whether you're testing the security of a web server, an FTP server, or even a database, Hydra has you covered. Simply change the target service in the command line, and Hydra will adapt its attack accordingly. Another powerful technique is the use of custom word lists. Instead of relying on generic word lists, you can create your own tailored to the specific target. For example, you can use tools like to scrape a website for relevant keywords and phrases, which can then be used to generate a highly targeted word list. Hydra also allows you to fine-tune your attacks by specifying the number of concurrent connections, using different brute force techniques, and even evading intrusion detection systems. These advanced techniques can significantly increase your chances of success, especially when targeting more secure systems. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. It's crucial to use these advanced techniques ethically and responsibly, only targeting systems that you have explicit permission to test. Section 6, Real-World Scenarios, Cracking Passwords in Action. Let's put our newfound knowledge into practice with some real-world scenarios. Imagine you've been tasked with testing the security of a web application. You suspect that the login form is vulnerable to brute force attacks. Using Hydra, you can launch a targeted attack against the login form, trying different username and password combinations until you gain access. The command might look something like this. This command tells Hydra to target the page using the username admin and trying passwords from the specified word list. The option indicates that the login form uses the post method to submit credentials. In another scenario, you might be testing the security of an FTP server. Hydra can be used to brute force FTP credentials using a command like this. This command targets the FTP service on the specified IP address using the username user and trying passwords from the word list. These are just a few examples of how Hydra can be used in real-world scenarios. By understanding Hydra's capabilities and combining them with other penetration testing techniques, you can effectively assess the security of various systems and identify vulnerabilities before they are exploited by malicious actors. Section 7. Protecting Yourself, Building Strong Defenses While Hydra is a powerful tool for ethical hackers, it's important to remember that attackers can use the same techniques for malicious purposes. Therefore, it's crucial to understand how to protect yourself and your systems from these types of attacks. The first line of defense is always a strong password. A strong password should be at least 12 characters long, include a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols, and not be easily guessable. Avoid using common phrases, personal information, or sequential patterns. In addition to strong passwords, Multi-Factor Authentication, or MFA, adds an extra layer of security. MFA requires users to provide two or more forms of authentication, such as a password and a one-time code sent to their phone, making it much harder for attackers to gain unauthorized access. Implementing account lockout policies is another effective security measure. This means that after a certain number of failed login attempts, the account is temporarily locked, preventing brute force attacks from succeeding. Finally, Consider using an Intrusion Detection System, or IDS. An IDS monitors network traffic for suspicious activity, such as repeated login attempts from the same IP address, and can alert administrators to potential attacks. Section 8. The Importance of Ethical Hacking As we've seen, Hydra is a powerful tool that can be used for both good and bad purposes. In the hands of ethical hackers, it's an invaluable tool for identifying and fixing security vulnerabilities. However, it's crucial to remember that using Hydra or any other hacking tool against systems without proper authorization is illegal and unethical. Ethical hackers play a vital role in making the digital world a safer place. By simulating real-world attacks, they help organizations identify and fix weaknesses in their systems before they can be exploited by malicious actors. They are the guardians of the digital realm, working tirelessly to stay one step ahead of the bad guys. If you're interested in pursuing a career in ethical hacking, there are many resources available to help you get started. There are online courses, certifications, and even degree programs dedicated to this rapidly growing field. By honing your skills and using your knowledge for good, you can make a real difference in protecting our digital world. Section 9. Conclusion. Your journey into cybersecurity. Congratulations on completing this crash course on cracking passwords with Hydra in Kali Linux. You've learned the basics of ethical hacking, set up your own hacking lab, mastered the art of password cracking, and explored advanced Hydra techniques. 
But this is just the beginning of your journey into the fascinating world of cybersecurity. The field of cybersecurity is constantly evolving, with new threats emerging all the time. It's a never-ending game of cat and mouse between security professionals and malicious actors. By staying up to date on the latest threats, vulnerabilities, and mitigation techniques, you can ensure that you're always one step ahead. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you learn about cybersecurity, the better equipped you'll be to protect yourself, your organization, and the wider online community. So keep learning, keep experimenting, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible in the ever-evolving world of cybersecurity.